Chamber Divers, The Untold Story of the D-Day Scientists Who Changed Special Operations Forever by Rachel Lance is a gripping narrative that explores the remarkable contributions of a group of scientists and their impact on underwater warfare and special operations during World War II, particularly pertaining to the Allied invasion of Normandy, known as D-Day. The book delves into the origins of special operations underwater, which were prompted by the dire need to overcome the challenges posed by Nazi defenses along the French coastline. In an environment where stealth and secrecy were paramount, traditional invasion approaches were rendered futile by formidable obstacles such as mines, barbed wire, and other underwater fortifications installed by the Germans. To circumvent these challenges, the Allies turned to a group of intrepid scientists and engineers who worked tirelessly behind the scenes to revolutionize underwater warfare. These individuals formed an eclectic mix of talents, including physicists, doctors, and Navy personnel, whose collective efforts were concentrated in a clandestine program meant to turn the tide against the Axis powers. The program's undertakings were characterized by relentless experimentation, theoretical work, and practical trials, all with the aim of developing new technologies and tactics for underwater infiltration and sabotage. One of the key figures highlighted in the book is Dr. Christian Lambertson, an American physician and anesthesiologist who played a pivotal role in the conception of closed-circuit diving apparatuses. Lambertson's work paved the way for the development of the Lambertson Amphibious Respiratory Unit, LRU, which became a critical tool for frogmen, the precursors to modern-day Navy SEALs, allowing them to breathe underwater without the telltale trail of bubbles that standard scuba gear would produce, helping to maintain the clandestine nature of their operations. Another important contribution came from the understanding and implementation of decompression theory, crucial to ensure divers could operate at depth without succumbing to the bends, a life-threatening condition caused by rapid decompression. This required a deep understanding of the physics and physiology of diving, which the scientists applied to create decompression tables and procedures that would keep divers safe while allowing them to perform their tasks effectively. The efforts of these scientists resulted in a range of innovative tools and techniques, including specialized underwater demolition charges that could be used to clear mines and other obstructions with precision, guidance systems for navigating murky underwater environments, and training regimens that prepared the first generation of combat divers for the unprecedented challenges they would face in the field. As D-Day approached, the relevance and potential of these technological advances became ever clearer. The scientists' contributions became integral to the success of Operation Neptune, the naval component of the D-Day landings. Frogmen equipped with the cutting-edge gear and trained in the new methods played a critical role in clearing obstacles and ensuring the Allies could land on the beaches of Normandy with a chance at establishing a foothold on continental Europe. The book pays homage to the intense trials, failures, and eventual triumphs of these scientists, highlighting their relentless dedication to their cause in the face of often daunting setbacks. Their work necessitated not only technical proficiency, but also a profound bravery, as they engaged in dangerous experiments and testing procedures, sometimes putting their own lives at risk to ensure the safety and effectiveness of the equipment and procedures for the divers who would rely on them. Rachel Lance's narrative also acknowledges the secrecy surrounding these scientific achievements, noting that for years, many of the advancements and the identities of those who contributed remained classified or unrecognized. The ingenuity and determination of these men catalyzed advancements in diving medicine, underwater navigation, and combat tactics that would not only prove pivotal during World War II, but also set the stage for the future of military and civilian diving. In its thorough exploration, Chamber Divers captures the spirit of innovation and the significance of the collaborations between scientific knowledge and military strategy, demonstrating how these partnerships can yield remarkable outcomes in the face of adversity and conflict. The contributions of the D-Day scientists have left a lasting legacy, greatly influencing the nature of special operations and underwater endeavors that continue to evolve to this day. 
Beyond the technical and military implications, Lance's book is a tribute to the human spirit, chronicling the perseverance, creativity, and courage of the scientists and divers who played a monumental yet largely unrecognized role in one of the most significant military operations in history. By shedding light on these untold stories, Chamber Divers provides readers with a deeper appreciation of the complexities and human dimensions of technological innovation in times of war. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.